Mom, why is Dad over there playing chess with Trisha Takanawa? Because, Chris, your idiot father thinks she's his new tiger mom and he's trying to impress her. All right, Peter, it's time to master the game of chess. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. No, you will do it in the traditional Japanese way, on a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Ow! I don't know which way the horse goes! Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me and where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that! Yeah! Time for a good door, bad door! Wait, how bad is the bad door? Grandpa son, how bad was the bad door? Not too bad. But shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. The game is still going on? Oh, you lose chess! This is not good. No one knows we're out here and we got no food or water. Relax, Quagmire. There's food all around us. The trick is just knowing what's safe to eat and what's not. Okay, these are a maybe. A zoo, Alice and Janney. Alice and Janney? Oh, good morning, honey. That feels really good. That do, what, what? Hey, hey, hey! What the hell? You're not the same giraffe from last night. Get out of here! What the hell? No, 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 no! I gotta stop taking my baths during Peter's shenanigan. It, buy it. All right. Brian, settle down. You're worse than that guy from Penguin Publishing. You want to get a book published, don't you? Well, yes. Well, if you want to be in black and white, black and white's got to be in you. But it's just so sad that young people can't pay attention to something longer than six sec. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Whoa! What the hell, you guys? I was talking. You know, there's more to life than just what's on your phone. Wrong, idiot. Anyone know how to turn these things off? With another chick. Thank you, God. Don't mention it, Peter. God, he knows what turns you on. Have fun. Naomi, I'm so glad you're here. I still can't get over it. I'm actually glad you're all here tonight. I want to tell you that one of you will betray me. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. Ah, he's doing that thing he did in his storybook. So, Jesus, finish that story you were telling us. Oh, all right, all right. So there I was. They'd just beaten me senseless, stuck thorns in my head, nailed me to a piece of wood, shoved a sponge full of vinegar in my mouth, and killed me. Then, they put me in a hole with a rock in front of it for two whole days, and come Sunday, bam, I rise from the dead. Okay, that sounds like a nutty weekend, but I can top it. So me and Cleveland and Joe are just wrecked on Southern Comfort, right? We know we're gonna puke, but Joe says, hey, let's go see Chronicles of Riddick. Sat through the whole thing without puking, then I get home, wouldn't you know I lost my glasses? Eh? Peter one, Jesus zero. You know, Jesus, if I go get my cell phone, would you mind talking to my friend Muriel Goldman? I really just want to rub her Jewish nose in this. All right, I'll be the one to say it. How do we know you're really Jesus? Can you perform miracles? Sure. How about this? Oh, boy, Sundays! I love you, Jesus! Oh, I love you too, fella. Hey, Jesus, can you do something for me? Sure, Peter. What is it? have ever been work in your miserable pathetic lives and play harder right i bet step forward maggot ah! next time that'll be you well why wasn't it him this time oh i'm so scared oh, ah, oh, ah, Peter, stop it yeah you're real big when you got that stick ain't you okay i'll stop now i wrote something similar to it several years ago but i am saying <laughs> What are you doing? Hey! Hey! Hold hey, hey, still! Hey, Push him down no. under all fours. What are you doing? If he really I don't want to do this. Now put your pinky in his body. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Calm down! Calm down! <laughs> <laughs> now, Stewie! All right, I guess this is the night bitches die. All right, Jesus. Nowadays, everything is done on the internet. All right, so we got to get you on Facebook. Oh, let me just close a couple of these windows. There we go. Sorry, I was up late last night. <laughs> I had the house to myself. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. A lot of POV stuff. Yeah, I like to pretend it's mine down there what's doing all the slapping. 
Peter, how old is that girl? Excuse me, won't you? Okay, kids, now this is the Quahog Museum of Science, a magical place of cultural exploration. That sucked. Peter, stop it. God, you're more clueless than Popeye. Sir, I think you should know these growths on your forearms. They're giant tumors. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. And the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. That you've managed to be walking around all this time is nothing short of a miracle. I'd say about two months. Okay. Oh my god, the stork! Where's my baby? Sweetie, you and me are gonna make the baby. It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. yeah money! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Andy, I think you know why I've called you in here today. A prison is an environment which requires the highest level of discipline. And that little stunt you pulled today... That little stunt you pulled today made a lot of people look very foolish. Look, Warden, we got it rough in here. I just thought we could use a little music. Music is expressly forbidden inside prison walls. My God, how can you be so obtuse? What did you call me? Obtuse. You're being obtuse. Two months in the hole. Or am I being obtuse? Now, nope, now you're being acute. Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, well, now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. <laughs>